Welcome to this presentation on migrating to UCM15. In this session, we'll explore the various methods available for upgrading your Unified Communications Manager. We'll delve into five key upgrade methods. Each method has its unique benefits and use cases, ensuring smooth transition to UCM15. In our lab demonstration, we'll focus on the direct refresh install with data import method showcasing its efficiency and practicality for modern deployments. Let's begin by understanding the different upgrade paths available to us. Okay, now the key points. Regardless of the upgrade method chosen, all the cluster nodes must complete one, upgrade inactive version, two, switch version reboot, and three, wait for database replication to complete. So let's go to the methods. A direct standard upgrade updates only the application software, not the OS. It's ideal for upgrade within the same major minor release category, ensuring a straightforward process with minimal service impact. The second technique is direct migration, used for complex scenarios like site moves, hardware change, or ESXi upgrades. This technique will address situations where a direct upgrade path does not exist for a source release. The third one is install with data import, fresh installation with data import from release 10.5 and above, involves exporting data to an SFTP server and importing it into new virtual machine of release 15. The last one is migration from legacy releases, upgrade from very old release with no direct path to release 15. This one requires an intermediate upgrade to a later release before the final migration or fresh install to release 15. Okay, this is my favorite technique, fresh install with data import. The alternative method for PCD or DRS. Each of these methods have some limitations. In this video, we are going to show you how to export the configuration data from the old node, call manager, IAM presence, Unity connection, and import it into new cluster. Let's jump to the lab. Welcome to the lab. Here is my call manager. I'm trying to log into the call manager and show you some of the configuration that already exists on this call manager. I have a bunch of trunks here connecting to different system and you can also see my road pattern here. Couple of road patterns pointing to different locations. Now I'm trying to log out and let's go to the CLI. In this step, we are trying to copy the configuration into SFTP. So wait for the interface to come up. Okay. Show version okay I'm right now running 12.5.1 utils system upgrade and here we have the data export this is the key. Util system upgrade data export initiate. So we are trying to connect to our SFTP using this command. And here is the export data directory slash export. And this is my SFTP IP address 10. 88523 and this is the credentials for SFTP server that's the new host name for 
the new call manager CUCM15 and the new IP address of the call manager 10.885.28 and proceed with export We have to wait some time here. So status is running. The export operation is in progress. We have to wait. Uh, it takes up to 30 minutes. It depends on the type of your hard disk, your virtual environment. So let's check the status. Util system upgrade data export and then status. If you want to cancel, for sure you can use the cancel command. Still is running and the data export operation is in progress. So we have to wait a little bit more. Okay, now it's completed. So of course, I skipped the video. <laughs> okay. So, this is my SFTP. Let me show you the configuration. The credentials for SFTP. As you can see in the export folder, I have all the stuff. Let me make it bigger. Okay, export folder. This is the cluster 10.885.27. These two files are super important for us the compact tar file and the XML file. So later we have to use them. Now let's go with a new installation for version 15. So here I choose Cisco call manager and do you want to overwrite the hard drive? Yes. And now instead of proceed, we choose import. Okay. Okay, import upgrade configuration information. Here, technically, we are providing the SFTP IP address. But before going to that step, we have to finish the initial configuration of call manager. So let me go for Eastern time. Okay, and MTU, no, DHCP, no, and now we have to provide, you, you remember we provide the host name CUCM15, so, and the IP address. It must be same as we provided in the previous section. Now I provide the IP address, mask, and gateway. Okay. Let's wait for the network configuration to be done. DNS. Not for now. Now here is our important part. Okay. 
Okay, after the providing IP address of our SFTP, we have to make sure that we are providing the correct directory. So export cluster dash 10.8.85.27. That's a folder. And now we are providing the credentials for our SFTP server. Login ID and password. After they restarting the network connectivity by the call manager, the copy process begins uh, and the rest of the procedure. Now we are on call manager 15. So let me log into it. Okay, let's go to the configuration. Now we should see our configuration on the older version here. Let's go to the phone page and there we go we can see all the phones i can go to roadmap and i can see my road patterns hopefully yeah they are here and if i go to trunk page i can see all my configuration all the trunks are okay and they are in full service so let me go to OS administration of the call manager 15. Log into OS administration. And let me go to the security part and for certificate management. And fine. All the certificates also working perfectly fine without any issue. They're all migrated. Okay. Thank you again for watching. I hope this demonstration has been useful in understanding the upgrade process to UCM 15. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach me out and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorial and updates. Thank you again and goodbye.